Canadian culture exudes uh, an idea, a um, world of openness and welcomeness. But in practice, it doesn't always seem to be. It seems like in India, there's more welcomeness, even though it's more closed in many, many ways, right? There are fences on doors, locks on the houses. Yeah. That reminds me a lot of of something I went through in high school with the Italian club, where I was called a manja cake, which is... A manja um, cake? A, it's called a manja cake. It's a derogatory term that you call someone who wants to become Italian. And I wouldn't say that I wanted to become Italian in Italian club in high school. I would say that I was obsessed with learning Italian and learning about the culture. Mm. And to do that, I tried to immerse myself in it as much as possible. But there were a whole bunch of kids who were like Canadian, but who had Italian parents and grandparents, and they considered themselves to be Italian. And that's why they considered me to not be Italian. Anyway, I graduate high school, I go live in Rome, and then yeah. I'm talking in Italian with this Roman. And, and then I say like, oh, God, I'm such a manja cake. And then she's like, what's that? And I was like, you don't know what a manja cake is? And then she's like, no, no, I don't know. And then I explained it to her. And then she's like, we don't have that term in Italy. And I think I realized, it took me a while, but I realized then that um, the the use of the word manja cake by these uh, children of Italian immigrants was a way of um, preserving their identity. Yes. Because they are actually Canadians, but they're trying to grab onto whatever Italian identity that they have. Or for me, it would be my Indian identity because I, I think it's personally because Canadian identity is so vacuous. There's nothing to it that the only thing you can default to is where your parents and grandparents are from and what their culture is. And so they feel threatened when there's someone else who, um, who, and, and the, and the idea of culture that they have is so skin deep, like, Oh, we mm. drink espresso in the morning and yes. we have biscotti with it. Like <laughs> if that's all it takes to be Italian, then no wonder they would feel threatened if I started doing that too. But a, a true Italian doesn't feel like the ones that I've met at least, and I've met a lot of them, um, they don't feel that by speaking Italian or by sharing their culture that you are somehow taking from them. Culture is not a zero-sum game, and that is the biggest issue with cultural appropriation. Mm -hmm. It's that you cannot steal someone else's culture. Mm. Um, it's it's not zero-sum. And so um, all it is is a set of ideas that can that can spread, and and it's, it's, it's sad to see um, how... Uh, tribalistic we get with culture because yeah. we don't have one of our own in Canada. And, it's, and so man, we just latch you on. said it so well.